speaking of questions, one mosque in Germany is asking a lot of them. Not through its words, but through its actions. Let me show you. This is the Ibn Rushd Gut Mosque in Berlin. Hanging outside it is the pride flag, the flag of the LGBTQ community. Now this has happened never before. No mosque in the world has ever accepted homosexuality, let alone hang a pride flag outside. So why did this German mosque do it? Here's what one of the imams had to say. I'm often in schools and talk to young people, some of whom are homophobic. They have a religious judgment about homosexual people. And that is a kind of discrimination that we don't accept. Pretty simple argument, isn't it? We have no place for any kind of discrimination. Some of the community members agree they turned up wearing these t-shirts. Look at what they say. Love is halal. In other words, love is permissible. Their idea is very straightforward. We have accepted homosexuality in most spheres of life, so why not religion? We should not just be talking about safe spaces in bars and clubs in Berlin. We also have to talk about safe spaces in places of worship. Most of the world celebrates Pride Month in June, but in Germany, July is the big deal. Three important LGBTQ events are being organized, the Lesbian and Gay Festival, the Dyke March, and the Christopher Street Day. So July is effectively Pride Month in Germany. And this mosque wanted to support the community, so they hung the Pride flag outside the building. The question is, how important is this gesture? Well, symbolically, it's huge. Islam has never accepted homosexual relations. In fact, the Hadith strongly condemns it. Most Muslim nations have used this interpretation to crack down on LGBTQ rights. Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Iran, Brunei, Nigeria, the UAE, Yemen, all these countries carry the death penalty for homosexual activity. So in that context, what happened in Berlin is huge. But does it change the real world outlook? Unfortunately, it doesn't. This particular mosque describes itself as liberal. They have a history of such reforms. For example, men and women are permitted to pray together here. It's a big no anywhere else in the world. They also have a female imam, again, not permitted anywhere else. So this mosque does not represent a broad Muslim opinion. It represents a tiny progressive opinion. In fact, some Muslims have condemned this gesture. They say LGBTQ organizations funded the whole display. And this has always been a feature of pride campaigns. Activists take one step forward, religions take two steps back. Let me show you a map. A map of the countries that have criminalized homosexuality. You could be punished for being gay. Now look at where these countries are located. Northern Africa and West Asia, which means religion is the driving force. Islam is being used to justify persecution of the LGBTQ community. And don't get me wrong, Islam is not the only religion doing so. Most religions have refused to accept homosexuality. At best, they just ignore it. At worst, they punish it. But elsewhere, civil laws have overruled religion, like in Germany or France, India, Japan. All these countries have decriminalized same-sex relations. But what about same-sex marriage? Only 31 countries in the world permit gay couples to get married. Only 31. Is there any way around this problem? Well, normally, you would depend on international pressure. After all, gay rights are human rights. But good luck getting the world to sanction Saudi Arabia or the UAE. These countries are too rich to be sanctioned, and they know it. But as things stand, it may be the only way. Countries must separate religion and state because, let's face it, religions accept, take time to accept anything new, sometimes decades, sometimes even centuries. But LGBTQ rights cannot wait that long, and Muslim countries must realize this. Just think about it. Islamic law does not just prohibit homosexuality. It also prohibits nuclear weapons. But that did not stop Pakistan from developing nukes. It's not stopping Iran from doing the same. So the fact is, this is not just about religion. It's also about politics. Governments feel cracking down on gay rights is a populist move. The people must tell them it is not. Only then will regimes embrace LGBTQ rights. So the mosque in Berlin is sending the right signals. It is showing that religion can embrace change without collapsing. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.